Hi everyone, this is the second lecture. In this lecture, we'll speak about elasticity. Elasticity is very important principle and concept in economics. It is very useful in determining the price of the goods and how the change in the price could affect the quantity demanded or supplied. And for sure, this would affect the equilibrium in the market. Also, this will affect the revenue, the profit, and all related things in case of the firm or supplier. So that we give a lot of time for studying elasticity in economics and to understand this we can go as follow first of all many students need a refresher and some practice at doing what seems too simple to bother with Calculating percentages and percentage changes. Don't be afraid to start with this pre elasticity warm up. Just toss out some numbers. Suppose that the compass box stores increases the price of an economic stickest from 70 to 80 dollars what is the percentage increase in price suppose the compass computer store lowers the price of an iMac from 1500 dollars to 1000 dollars what is the percentage of change in price? Next, we can start for definition now after this is small practice. Price elasticity of demand is a unit free measure of the responsiveness of quantity demanded of a good to a change in its price when all other influences on buying plans remain the same. Calculating price elasticity of demand. How can we calculate the price elasticity of demand? We already have few steps to do this the price elasticity of demand is calculating using the following simple formula percentage change in quantity demanded percentage change in the price divide the first over the second but we should know what is the change and what is the percentage change To calculate the price elasticity of demand, we express the change in price as percentage of the average price, which means we should first find the average price. We find it using the sum of two prices, the old one plus new one divided by two the average of the initial and the new price this is what we call it and we expect the change in quantity demanded remember this word demanded in this case as a percentage of average quantity demanded again this is the average of the initial and the new 
quantity. Look to this example. Here we have a demand curve, but for simplicity we represent it as a straight line. In this straight line for demand curve we can see that the negative relationship between quantity demanded of pizza per hour and the price of pizza. It is a negative slope, downward sloping. How can we calculate the price elasticity of demand for pizza? Initially, we assume the following. If the price of pizza is $20.50 and the quantity demanded is 9 units of pizza per hour, we call this as original point. The price of pizza falls. This is an assumption. And we assume this is false by one dollar, which means the new price is nineteen dollars and fifty cents, and the quantity demanded increases to eleven pieces an hour. This is new point. Now we have two points. We can find the change. We can find the average. So finally we can find percentage change. The price fell by one dollar and the quantity demanded increases by two pieces an hour. What do you think in this case? Is elasticity should be equal one, less than one, or greater than one? You can do this by yourself to find the suitable number in this case. First, we can see that the change in a price represented by decrease in the price by one dollar. But what is the result of this? What is the impact of this on the pizza? Do you think that pizza will increase or decrease? According to what we learned about demand, the quantity demanded on the price, there is a negative relationship. So we expect the quantity will increase. It will exceed 9 units. But how much this increase or this change will be? This is what we are looking for. Here the change is a movement from 9 to 11. Look to the graph. Change in quantity equal to units so that here we can see one dollar decrease in price resulted in increase in quantity by two units average price and quantity by using the average price and average quantity we get the same elasticity value regardless of whether the price rises or falls because we see the impact of the two prices or two quantities at the same time and this is very important percentages and proportions the ratio of two proportionate changes 
is the same at the ratio of two percentage changes. So, generally, percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price could be simply presented by change in quantity over change in price. How many different cases of demand price elasticity we could have? There is many cases. These many cases could be summarized in five cases. These five cases are perfectly inelastic. Inelastic. Unitary elastic. Elastic. Perfectly elastic. How can we differentiate between these different cases? This is what we are looking for now. Demand can be inelastic, unit elastic or elastic as we mentioned, and can range from zero to infinity. Zero and infinity are two extreme cases. If the quantity demanded doesn't change, when the price changes, the price elasticity of demand is zero. Why this is zero? Because there is no response from the quantity demanded to change in a price. In this case, change in quantity will equal zero, what we refer by delta Q. And in this case, we call that this good has a perfectly inelastic demand. Look to this case, what we call perfectly inelastic demand. We see that the demand curve or demand line became vertical. What is the meaning of this? Assume the price is 6. The quantity will be very specified. And if the price increased to 12, how much is the change in quantity demanded? Think for a moment. You will see that there is no change at all. Here we can see there is no responsiveness of the quantity demanded to any change in the price, whatever this is change in price. This is what illustrates the case of the good that has a perfectly inelastic demand. The demand curve is vertical. To show of that, there is no response at all for any change in the quantity according to the change in the price. Let's go for another case. Unit elastic demand. In unit elastic demand, we expect that the elasticity equal 1, which means Percentage of change in quantity equal percentage of change in the price. Something like equivalence. If the percentage of change in the quantity demanded equal the percentage of change in price, then the price elasticity of demand 
equals 1 and the good has unit elastic demand. In this figure, to the right, we can illustrate the case of demand curve with ever declining slope and the elasticity of this one is 1. To check this, let us try the following. Assume at the price 6, the quantity demanded is 2 units. If the price doubled from 6 to 12, what could happen in quantity? Quantity will decrease, but in opposite direction. Price doubled, so the quantity will decrease to the half. So, at price 12, the price is 1. You can calculate the list in this case. The change in price is positive 6 units. Change in quantity, negative 1. Average price is 6 plus 12 over 2. It is 9. The average quantity is 1 plus 2 over 2, this 1.5 units. You have all numbers. You can calculate it and see how much it is. Actually, you'll find the number very close to 1. If the percentage of change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage of change in price the price elasticity of demand is less than one and we call this good is inelastic and in this case we already face inelastic demand If the percentage of change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage of change in price, the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 and the good has elastic demand. Look to this case. Here, demand is a straight line, but not vertical. It is horizontal. Fix it at price 12. If the percentage of change in quantity demanded is infinitely large when the price barely changes, what is the name of this? This is what we call perfectly elastic demand. This is the case that we have here and this is the opposite of perfectly inelastic demand the vertical line the price elasticity of demand is infinite and the good has perfectly elastic demand in this case and we can see that in this figure how this looks like it is a horizontal line a horizontal demand lie or sometime we call horizontal demand curve now we have a question this question is about elasticity along a linear demand curve is the elasticity is fixed for all points on the demand curve if the demand curve is line the question is not in this graph to the right we show that how the elasticity of demand it changes along a linear demand line or curve first we should determine what we call the midpoint of demand curve. 
demand is unit elastic at this point. The midpoint here determined as following. The quantity is 50. So the midpoint is 25. Price is 25. So the midpoint is 1250. So the point for 50 units and the price $12.50 represent the midpoint. At the midpoint, the elasticity equal the unit or unitary elastic. At prices above the midpoint of the demand curve, demand is elastic. At prices below the midpoint of the demand curve, demand is inelastic. At the price of pizza falls from $12.50 to $0, the quantity demand increases from 25 units of pizza to 50 pizzas. Demand is inelastic in this case, and total revenue will decrease. As long as we have elasticity of demand, sure we have elasticity of supply. You know that when the demand for a good increases, its equilibrium price rises and the quantity, the equilibrium quantity of goods increases. But that the price rise by a large amount and the quantity increase by a little, or that the price barely rise and the quantity increases by a large amount. The answer on this question depends on the movement or responsiveness of the quantity supply of a specific good to change in the price of this good. The answer depends shortly on what we can call it the elasticity of supply. The elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of quantity supply Two changes in the price of goods. When all other influences on selling plans remain the same. How can we calculate the elasticity of supply? Simply like what we did for elasticity of demand. Percentage change in quantity supplied over percentage change in price. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much.